Okay, so in the previous video, I shared with you some really cool techniques of how simple it was to put that code into your WordPress theme. Now, here's an even simpler way, because I like to keep things simple, but it does make sense to learn how to do that in a regular website as well. You would basically just copy and paste that code, but the code does have to be absolute path. Now, drum roll, please. Here's a wonderful, wonderful free plugin that will do all the heavy lifting for you because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to basically teach you how the software works. So what you want to do is go and add and insert a plugin called Edge Suite. Edge Suite. Simply go to Add New, type in Edge Suite, go get the plugin, which is this plugin right here. I already have it installed and I will share with you how it works. Really simple. Really, really simple. I'm going to go to Edge Suite and go to manage. Now, before we do this, what I need to do is go back into Edge and basically export a package that I can basically take that entire package in one simple, simple way to do it. I, I mean simple. Did I say simple? Drum roll, please. So let's go into Edge and share with you how to do that. So the, the plugin is installed. We're now going to go into Edge. So here we are in Edge and I just want to share with you what's going to happen. So here's our animation, basically just drops down, etc, etc, etc. So here's what we need to do. We need to go to File, Publish Settings, and then we're going to click this little box here, Animate and Deploy Package. What that's going to do, that's going to basically package up this little file so WordPress can simply use it as a short code. It's going to take the JavaScript, it's going to take the images, it's going to do everything we do in one nice, neat little package. Working smart, that's why you're taking my courses. So I say publish, save the file, make a change, save a change, let's go, let's go back into WordPress. So here we are back in WordPress. So what I need to do is browse that file. I'm going to browse the file called Fashion Gals, if I can basically get my act together here. And what we want to do is go to the publish folder that it just created in Edge. We don't want to basically do two things for us. Basically create the output for the web, which was our previous video stuff. And this is the package right here we want to do under Animate Package, which is an OAM file. So I double click that file and I upload that file. Incidentally, you have to have PHP uh, unzip installed into your Apache server in order to make this work. If you don't have that, it's available on my hosting plan. If you need a hosting plan, please email me. If not, HostGator, who's ever you're using, needs to have the unzip file part of your Apache PHP install. Okay, now what we need to do is get the ID for that particular file that we uploaded. Now, a simple way to do that is if you click down here, this will tell you the ID of the files you've used in your sequence. So the first file you put in there is one, two, three. So we need to take this ID, which is six, okay? And this is already uploaded, so I, I, and I need to go to my settings first. So after you upload, you only need to do this next step one time. So I go into my settings and make sure that you have selected enable shortcode. Enable shortcode, I don't have to have this selected. I can deselect that and save changes. So here's where the magic happens. Now I already have this in a post, but it could be any post. So I'm gonna to go to all posts and I'm gonna to go to edit post. Now this is the shortcode, it's really simple. It's basically just inside of square brackets, edge underscore animation, ID, whatever ID that was. Now, what we just shared with you under settings, that was the file we just imported was ID 6. So all we have to do is change the 5 to a 6 or whatever that ID was, as I just shared with you a few seconds ago. And it's simply short code. Simple short code is square bracket edge underscore animation ID. And since it's a string of information, it's inside of quotation marks. Close right, close right square bracket. I update that. I view my post, and just like that, I have my new slider installed. So sorry about that. I was uploading files in the background, so it took a second to uh, so let's replay this again. And there is my animation, just like that. Now again, it's important to understand both techniques. The previous techniques, which is a little bit more of a hoop jump, you have to do absolute 
uh, path to the files. Now, this is a WordPress plugin, so obviously this works in WordPress. So it's not going to work on a regular website. So I just want to share that technique with you. You need to know both. So just looking out for you. So if I click this, it basically drops down because I basically created this dynamically. And there's my slideshow. Simple, simple, simple. Apparently that one I might have changed to something else. So my mistake on that. So thank you for being here. we got some really cool stuff coming up also in the Ultimatum theme uh, of course, what you're watching right now, and also I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of more edge animate with sound, interactive sound, music beds, all kinds of cool stuff coming up. So if you want to make money, if you're serious about doing this as a living, I'm going to share my techniques that will make you money. Thank you for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. Have a nice day.